All right, what is good everybody? It's your boy Basic Gabe. We're back with another YouTube video today. I know we're back with another day in the life, but this time I'm gonna be taking y'all through like a basically gap slash Houston Selects, how I split up my day. It's very late right now, so I'm getting a late start, but I'm still gonna be able to show y'all a bunch of stuff. So before this video gets started, please make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, man. I appreciate all the love towards all the videos, regardless if it's 1K views, 2K views. All the people viewing y'all take time out of your day to view me. And, you know, just watch me do my thing. So I appreciate y'all, man. I love y'all. I do giveaways on all my Instagrams all the time. So make sure y'all go follow them. Links are in the description. Without any further ado, man, let's get right into this video. Y'all see the top, bro. Very different little top. I tried a couple different colors. I hope it's focused so you can see the puff print the details. Then we got these weird ass Nike. I don't even know, bro. I bought these off Nike thinking they were going to be like regular sweats. But they look a little goofy, but... Whatever, we try new stuff for the fashion. So the first thing we're gonna do is, I just got a package in, man. I need to take y'all through. Usually I don't do unboxing, save for TikTok, save it for reels, but I gotta take y'all through this one, man. I don't think y'all understand how long I have been wanting these shoes, man. And I got them finally in brand new condition. Let me, let me get it in the frame because y'all deserve to enjoy these as much as I do, but y'all see it, man. Cap and gown, Jordan 11s, brand new. Guess what I paid? Steel. I don't know how I paid this low. They brand new, they don't have the little thing, but I don't know that. I don't wear the box, right? Brand new cap and gown, so I paid 475 Guys, the name Studio Dita. I'll put a marker right here. I just had to show y'all, bro. I just, oh my goodness. Going right to this collection. Jesus. My goodness. They look dumb as hell, right, bro? These pants, oh my God, bro. They look so retarded. All right, ignore the pants, bro, but golly. Have you ever seen something so beautiful? Cap and gown, Jordan 11, bro. I don't know when I'm gonna wear these, but so nice, man. So nice. All right, all right, my bad, my bad, my bad. All right, I know I got a little bit off track, but can you blame me, bro? Cap and gown, so nice, man, but let's get into the video for real. So, first things I wanted to show y'all, man, is this piece right here, man. Oh, that's better, man. Let me pull up the chair so I can just show y'all the tiny details that will, I feel like, take my brand to the next level. So, if you know Kanye Yeezy Gap hoodie, I'll put a picture right here somewhere. Look at that, and then look at mine. All right, you got the exact same hoodie, the exact same fit, and when I tell y'all, it's a heavy hoodie, bro. I promise you it is. So to anyone who wants to cop this one, I promise you will be very happy with it, man. The quality, everything about this hoodie is super nice. I'm about to throw it on real quick. All right, as y'all can see, man, it is on body. This is a size large. I don't really like baggy fit, but I know a lot of people do, so this hoodie is mainly for them, but I promise you, bro. The quality, everything like that. Oh, another little detail I want to talk about. 100 different faces, front and back. You see the back? Hopefully that was a good shot, but 100 different faces, man. Each hoodie differs from the other, so this is why this is one of my favorite pieces right now. The quality, the details that went into it, it took me like two hours to draw different faces, make sure they all look different, and make sure that my manufacturer knew that each hoodie had to be different, and each hoodie had 100 different faces at least. So that's why I like this hoodie, man. I want to show you all one more little sample. Here it is, man. Let me just go ahead and explain the meaning behind it. You see the logo, of course, knife in his back, man, screen printed, shadow of death, puff print in the dark alleys. It looks, you cannot run from the da 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 shadow of death, man. I really want to imply and like show a little bit of meaning towards the brand and like pieces like this, I know people love and I'll continue to make them. Don't get me wrong, but pieces like this is what I really appreciate and what I really hope to make people appreciate because you know, literally everything in this piece has meaning. You know, the knife in the back, the waning crescent, the alley, the face, the shadow holding the knife, everything like that, the room, every single detail of this piece has meaning, man. And I hope whenever I drop it, a lot of people can appreciate it as much as I do. And then again, had to add the nice Warren Lotus type details. If y'all can't tell already, Warren Lotus is one of my favorite designers. So I try to take his style a little bit. You know, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna cap. I'll say this is 100% me, but obviously he did inspire my style. So like I said, I'm gonna continue to release pieces like this that everybody loves and then pieces like like this that only a select a few will appreciate so if you mess with meaningful stuff man make sure to follow my instagram at basically gap same as my username on youtube just no space i'm about to turn it up this year that's why i'm making this video just to catapult a little more get some more traction on that page man because i think i've said it a couple times the brand is really like my main focus because with shoes like you know i'm just selling shoes and i don't want to say there's no work put in there but there's no like real me into shoes you know as nike shoes adidas shoes this is 100 percent me i get to reflect 
you know, things that I've been through, things that I feel and put it onto clothes. And I think that feeling of fulfillment will be a lot different than, you know, just selling shoes and making a profit. So like I said, if y'all go mess with the brand, man, I promise you I'm next up. I promise you we about to make so much different type of content on this YouTube, man. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. If it looks like I'm in a damn warehouse, my apartment complex did me absolutely dirty. Look, look at the floor. Bruh. There was a fire and then some of like the water leaked everywhere, man. So they just started working on it and then they just stopped out of nowhere and then they left us with the carpet. I actually had to stuff it in the shower, bro. That's it right there. They let, oh, if you don't know, selects closet for the rugs. We about to turn that up too. So it was sitting for two weeks and I was like, okay, that's enough, bro. Tore it off and then now I use this for my background pictures and I think it looks pretty hard to be honest. So, hey, you gotta look at the bright side and everything, man. I was gonna show y'all how I make TikTok, but I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. You know, find a couple clips, put them together and that's pretty much it. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hit future retro and he said he got a couple pairs for me. If not, I do have a couple other meetups. So depending on if he has a good amount, I'm gonna definitely take y'all through afterwards. I don't feel like holding the camera throughout the entire deal, but I'll definitely film myself going in there and everything like that. So I'll catch y'all there. Real quick, I did have to change, man. Y'all see the stackables unreleased, probably never releasing this color. I don't know. Let me know if I should in the comments. Then we got the very slept on Union 2. These go for like 150 bucks. So if you can get them, I'm telling you, get them. These hold stupid hard. And then a little vintage Lollapalooza, man. I paid high as hell on that shirt, so I might as well wear it. All right, now the next clip will for real be me at Future Retro in three, two, one man we are here we have finally arrived at future retro i'm gonna try to cop a bunch of pairs whatever joseph has for me i know he has at least a couple like i said i'm not gonna take y'all through the entire thing because i don't want this video to be too long but i will definitely catch y'all after man all right i just walked in there like a dumbass joseph not even here but that gives me a chance to show y'all the reels that i made bro cool little reel man god 403 likes i posted it on my basically gav page i wasn't really posting personal type stuff as you can see, it's mostly just clothing brand stuff, but I feel like taking a different approach is definitely gonna help me expand and grow. And the same thing with Houston Selects, I'm gonna start making different type of content. And this YouTube, man, I need y'all to turn up this YouTube, man. I'm trying to bring new content, but I, honestly, I'm a little afraid to stray into different type of stuff. Y'all are so used to sneakers, but like in this video, I'm kind of easing into it. Talking more about the clothing brand, talking more about all behind the scenes. So if y'all like it, please make sure y'all like and leave a comment, man. That does go a very long way, man. A lot more than y'all think. So if y'all could just go do that real quick and I'm gonna wait for Joseph. All right, man, we in the back room. I actually decided to film a couple of deals with my boy Joseph. We about to go through a couple of these. None too crazy. None too crazy at all, man. We got some heat. Just a couple. How much? Eight and a half. I don't even know. How much one of these? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Dead stock. Hey. Cortez. Do six. Let's see. Let's see. Put it to the side, put it to the side. Five. Gotta get a three clip locked in on camera. How much these? 120. What size is this? Uh, uh, 90. 90. 90's fair, right? Yeah. Go on that. Is it 100? Alright, put it to the side, put it to the side. Brazil? 120. How much? 120. I think it's a replacement box. Oh, shit. I think they're at 10. Is it? Uh, 120, 90, and then the 60. 70. Oh, 60 was your price. 60 was your price, 70 was your price. Oh shit, okay. Yeah, 120, cool, whatever. 90, 60. Okay. Yeah. All right, three piece like that, man. We're gonna like the rest of these, and I'm gonna catch y'all after. All right, bro, that wraps up that cash out. About 30 pairs, none too crazy. Honestly, I wasn't expecting Joseph to sell me that many pairs, but we picked up a cool little 30, 40 clip, and then I just bought another 20 piece off one of my boys on Instagram. That's around 50 to 60 pairs in around an hour and a half, so that just goes to show how much I have to buy to keep up with whatnot, which is what we're about to head out to go do. So I'm gonna cash out when I'm at the storage. All right, man, we just put up to the storage, as you can see. We got hella packages to go through, bro. If you don't know, I do always buy online. Even Chris in the cut. <laughs> but we about to go through all these packages. I got to legit check all these because all these are new arrivals. Then we got to take off all the future retro pairs. And then I also have to choose pairs for whatnot. 100 pairs, y'all know how it go, man. So we got a lot of stuff to do right now. So I'm gonna get through it and I'll catch up before I go live. All right, bro, we just unboxed like 150 pairs, all this. We still not done. Got to go through all that. Got to go through all of these, bro. I'm about to grow up right now. And then I still have to choose which whatnot pairs I want to go up. Bro, we got all the whatnot pairs ready to go. Kenny ready to go. Whatnot ready to go. And we're like three minutes late. And we're about to go live. Let me, we're about let me to try to get it all live. That's so late. Look at how late we are. We're supposed to start at 7. What time is it? 8.04. Jesus Christ. What's good, everybody? 
Say what's up to the YouTube video. People you joining up, we're late. Honestly, it's probably gonna be lacking for a while, but oh my God, bro. All right, we just finished the live. We sold around 100 pairs, but Fridays are no good. I gotta switch up my whatnot days, but if you don't know whatnot, man, y'all need to get on whatnot. All this just sold, man. It's the easiest way to move your inventory. Honestly, it sells for a little lower, but it gets you going and you get to reinvest all the stuff that hasn't been moving. So if you're not on Whatnot, man, make sure to click the link in my description. Turn up Whatnot. Whatnot is definitely one of my favorite apps right now. Now we got to wrap up all these pairs. Make sure they're all ready to go. Clean them up. Make sure the ones that weren't clean are clean and ready to ship. After that, I'm going to catch up back in my apartment and we're going to get a little bit into the design process. Quick, Chris, Chris brought me a little grill. We bought a coin flip, 420. 420, 450, ain't that right, Chris? 420, 450, right? Uh, what y'all think, man? Should I tax this boy, like? 420, 450, here we go, you ready? Boy, if you don't. Here we go. I got heads, man. Man, you call me in flipping it? Yes, sir. Ready? Here we go. Wait, both are not. Let's go through the hospital. Ooh! What happened? I can't see. Oh, my <laughs> God, bro. Y'all hey, know how long I've been looking for these. Grass secured, though. Grass secured. still at the end of the day, man. Yes, sir, man. Shout out my boy Chris. Chris. Beautiful, bro. Kicks with Chris. All right, bro. We're finally back at the curb. I'm tired as hell, but now I finally have time to chill and design. You know, this is honestly my favorite part of the day because I just get to sit back and just design, let my mind express itself. So right now, I'm about to take out through exactly my design process. Actually, I already was gonna start designing on here, but then I realized I should just probably do this one on my iPad. So we're gonna go to the iPad real quick. My battery died, but while it was charging, I managed to finish this design. As y'all can see, it's a little fur, uh, mohair type fur is a little out there but i don't know i think this could be a cool little essential type piece this will be embroidered so here's the final product i don't know when exactly it's gonna be done but i want to show you another design that i've been working on this one i've been working on for a while man let me know what y'all think in the comments but yeah man that pretty much wraps up today after i'm done designing and everything like that i'm probably gonna run a couple games of fifa with my ps5 at of fifa on there i probably connect it right here i only put it there whenever people come over i want to get their ass whooped but i'm gonna touch on this subject a little bit because i am going to be streaming on twitch for the first time next saturday man i need y'all to tune in if you want to it's gonna be cool it's gonna be a chill little vibe i'm gonna be wagering people on fifa so if you want to play make sure to shoot me a dm i'll probably accept like 10 15 entries just depending on how long the games are gonna be and everything like that Make sure y'all tune into the Twitch, bro. I promise I'll try to be as entertaining as possible. I got the whole setup ready to go, man. The mic right there, the camera right there, the little light. A little professional, man. Y'all see everything ready to go. We got a couple more things I need to add, but yeah, pretty much. I'm gonna get that set up. And yeah, man, just gonna go ahead and end up tonight. I appreciate you guys for watching. Let me know what other types of videos y'all wanna see. I'll be saying that every single video, but I really do take every single comment into consideration. So if you could just leave a quick comment, man, that would mean the world to me. Thank you everybody for watching my video, man. If y'all could like, comment, and subscribe. I love y'all so much. Until the next one.